A lot of distractions, a lot of potential interruptions. But I would love to just capture what you were saying about, you know, you had a lot of experience with dogs in general, with this breed yes. specifically, and then you get this rescue dog and you're like, what the heck? She didn't want to walk? Exactly. She didn't want to go for a walk? Yeah, and when I first got her, she walked just fine. We did two, two long walks every day, and then all of a sudden, she stopped. We'd get to the end of the driveway and she'd pancake. She would not go any further. I could mm -hmm. not get her to go any further. Mm -hmm. And I've, I mean, I've never experienced that before. Why does a dog not want to walk? It should be fun. Yeah. So, you know, I found you guys, got her through board and train. Since I've gotten her back, we go on all the walks just fine. And I realized for the first time, uh, she's very relaxed when she's healing. When I give her a break and she's up ahead, her ears are up and she's looking around. And mm -hmm. I realize now, Wow, she really was stressed about being out in front and having to be mm. in charge and in control and mm -hmm. figuring out what, what the, where the dangers were. Yeah, or just and, not having an objective spe specified for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so, so cool. So now she's great. And yeah. She, wa she walks really, really, really wonderfully now. It's awesome. Yeah. So cool. And you're, do you see your confidence up in other areas too? Like, did it change though the fact that you can have those quality walks now and get out in the world in a more, you know, um, in a more partnered way that you see that show up in other areas because a lot of times yeah. we won't we won't realize it necessarily but if you think about it the dog is different at home the dog is different with certain people now sometimes that will happen as well as a byproduct of well, her, slowing her, that mind her relationship with me is much stronger mm. than it was before uh, i mean she she was crazy about me before but it's just it's different now mm -hmm. um she really cares now about where I am, what I'm doing, what I think, what I want. Mm -hmm. and Not in like that frantic way, but just no. uh, there's probably a softness She's there. She's a huh? lot more relaxed yeah, that's than cool. she was before. So cool. The thing that, you know, we're always trying to get people to understand is how the health ramifications of that too. You know, if we are always stressed out, anxious, jacked up, worried about our life, right. that stress is a killer, man. It's like, w here comes an ulcer or an autoimmune disorder or, you know, cancer. And the yeah. same thing is true for our dogs. Um, and I find a lot of people aren't thinking about that. They're not relating that, you know, five years down the line, staying in that state of mind is really dangerous to the overall health. and. You know, Callie came to you with not the best health circumstances either. Right. And so that beautiful combination of like, let me give you what you need from the inside out and, and have a relationship dynamic where I can empower you to feel more confident and calm. It's, it's really powerful to her ability to enjoy more quality years, I think, too. Yeah. It's exciting. I she's always love that part of it. She's relaxed, and I would say she's a happier dog. She, the structure has been fantastic for her. She really, awesome. She really needed that degree of structure. Mm -hmm. And I've never had a dog before that needed quite so much structure. But yeah, they can be different, like kids, it's, huh? Totally. It's perfect for her. That's cool. Wonderful. Good job, ladies. Good job, Cali girl. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. It's awesome to be able to encourage other people that there's more, more options out there, right? Thanks a lot. It's so cool.